Hey guys, I'm super excited for today's one with you all. I can't really call it a pov to be honest because it is going to be my first product review and a fun one at that because Funlender have sent out this so cool, so so cool, tiny, tiny, tiny little lens. It is a fixed focal f8 um, manual, full manual lens and I tell you what, I've just been clicking away on it just to sort of try and get an understanding of how it works before I jump into this for you guys guys a snazzy profit review and tell you what I'm pretty excited with what we're going to uncover today so a bit of an adventure and um, down here in London by the London Eye what else let's get started something really to talk about I've had so much fun like it literally is just a stroll and easy to use like going back to basics and full manual and with this massive 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 um, lever as such to be able to um, swing the focus around whatever way you want to go it is good fun what I'm really noticing is that I am quite slow on the focus side of things because it's been a long long time since I've used manual focus and what I like I'm someone if you follow my povs which I hope you do and you've been along and had a look at the povs that I do you know that I like to shoot in a really shallow depth of field generally I'm at 1.4 um, most of the time so what I'm noticing with this lens is it's actually challenging my brain in order to um, apply different depth Field, you know it is fixed focal at f8 so using the the turning manual um, to really try and create that cinematic sort of effect where you can you need to take time to frame up and kind of just you know figure out what you want so that's the only downside that I'm finding so far everything else is amazing I've had a lot of fun with this guy girl guy we're not biased here Guys, as you can tell, we got a little bit rained out from our last adventure out with the fun leader lens that we are testing in this product review. So, glorious sunshine today, and I've come down to River Thames and actually just climbed this week private ship I guess I could say just for a little bit of a um, an adventure and to have some fun and kind of just chill and what I want to do at the moment is actually pull apart the lens so we can have a look at how big small in reality it actually is and kind of just you know take you through it as a whole um, before we actually move on to a full adventure which is going to include some fun it's going to include a bit of street photography um, something with four wheels who knows I don't really know what I'm going to get up to yet but this is all about just going with the wing of it and um, enjoying the adventure as the sort of uh, mission should be guys so um, let's get cracking and have a look at this Woo. <laughs> Okay guys, so super simple, the same as any other lens attachment, it's always pushing down on the button to be able to detach the lens, we pull it apart nice and gentle and then we have a look at how big 
So this, let me put the cap on the camera first. Let's get that done. Camera's secured back in the camera bag. Don't want any mishaps falling into the Thames River, of which you know where we're at. You can see the fun leader lens here. It is the 18mm with an attachment on the basis of it. Let's pull apart the lens itself so we can really see how tiny this is. Thicker than my um, fingernails, but only just, excuse my uh, very ladylike scenario, but we all know when you're climbing ships to get the best views of the city, you don't always necessarily get ladylike fingernails. Anyway, we're not talk here to talk about fingernails. What I really want to get across to you guys is just how small this is. Like, in comparison to the big lenses that I have, be it my Sigmas, be it my um, Canon lenses, the 7200, in comparison, this is just like a miniature little incognito lens, which is just fun to have around. It looks gangster as well, like just full manual, old school scenario. And um, that on top of with my manual lens, uh, camera should I say, it just looks like a cohesive look. And um, you know, it's all about steez these days, as they say. So let's pull it apart. As you can see, here is the back of um, the adapter and we've got the front um, piece here as well. So should be, fingers crossed, easy enough. Yep, look at that, easy enough to um, detach with strong hands. And um, be my little nails being able to get in there. Now we can actually see how small this lens really is. Wow, look at that. That is just so neat, isn't it? Considering like this here is the device that catches light, that um, freezes it in an essence and allows us to keep memories. How cool is that? Like literally that tiny. As you can see, that there is the lens. This here is the adapter, which is most of the thickness of it. That there is for the Fuji. They sell not only these adapters for Fuji, but for Lumex. And um, Fun Leader themselves have a range of uh, lenses on their uh, website. So, oh, I'm struggling to get it back in. How about we do this properly? Let me pop this down. Actually make note of where the, um, the red dot is and the white dot. Align them as one and pop it back in, as easy as that. We are now back in full functioning mode. So let's pop it on the camera and um, get cracking with some more shots. As I said guys, have a look on their website. They've got a range of lenses along with a range of lights that you can um, purchase and have a play with. Alright guys, I thought it wouldn't be a fun lender uh, product review without actually having some fun with this lens. So I've come down, I'm learning to skate at the moment, which I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, you should jump on there and have a geese at what I'm learning to do at the moment, and plus life, everything goes on there. Anyway, um, with me learning to skate, I thought using this lens here would be a, a great way to actually um, test the capabilities of it. As I've said, um, I'm really enjoying just um, getting out and um, playing with this lens as we're doing. So let's see what we get up to today. Um, I, uh, the Fuji does um, film on a 60 frame rate, so I will try and do my tricks where I'm up to at the moment and um, slow them down and try and make me look cooler than what I actually am, but hey. Get out there, practice, learn, consistency is key and that's what this is all about. Um, be it learning photography, be it learning um, like new life skills. You know, you're never too old, never too late. I'm 32 years old, believe it or not, and I'm learning to skate. So never say never, pick up the camera, get out there, play with it and have some fun. That's what it's about.
uh, progress in my journey of skateboarding. Um, what can I say? We're getting there. We're getting there. It's all good. Um, so, okay, so I filmed that on the BG film here, XT1, but what we are focusing on is the lens here from Fun Lens. And uh, because it is manual focus, what I actually did to uh, set up those shots, um, put it on a tripod, little uh, gorilla pod at the base, and um, basically just <laughs> let me rig this so you guys can see it better, flip that around. Okay, where are we? On here. Focus where okay, so all I really did um, was move the focus dial around here, and uh, we do have a meter symbol here and a feet symbol if depending on where you are in the world and what you know. Um, basically, just set up the um, distance of where I wanted to position myself, and um, that is where the focus whoop, was set. Where are we? Oh man, I'm not very good at these flip screens, am I? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I say, everything's about learning, but with setting the manual focus like that, it enabled me to um, basically just set up the tripod and um, the camera and set the manual focus, set the exposure and just go play. So as this is all about playing, I want to see what you guys are doing. So tag me on Instagram, um, let me know what you're doing with these um, fun lenses and tag fun lenses themselves because I'm sure they will want to see what you guys are getting up to. Let's continue the journey and move on to the next spot. Um, I tell you what, I'm actually really impressed with the street photography side of it. I did so much better than what I thought I was, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, let me know what you guys think of the photos, all the video footage that I've um, taken on here. Unless it's me talking to you right now, the video was taken on the Fuji with the 18mm fun leader lens. So, guys. I hope that you see the value in the lens and how cool it is, just how cool it looks, how cool it's so tiny and just what is capable of it as well. It's durable and it allows you to get it into places incognito. We've climbed on an abandoned, I don't want to say it's abandoned because I know it's not, but we climbed on top of a ship. We, um, yeah, we've just had a lot of fun and like embrace what it is all about. So guys, be sure to follow their link, which is down below in the description. And um, I know 
their website they have other lenses on there as, as well as um, lighting equipment um, so and it's small and compact and it allows you to just sort of get out and about and so, you know do do what photography is about so um, follow their links follow my links um, you'll see what I get up to on Instagram and um, the website will allow you to see what I actually do more commercially as well so guys um, thank you for joining me on this YouTube journey um, there's gonna be more product reviews coming and I hope you enjoyed this one let me know your feedback what was your favorite thing in this video what was the fun thing in this video should I say all right guys um, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next one ciao thank you so much for watching this YouTube video guys I hope you enjoyed it now before you head away I'd love for you guys to look at the preset packs I have available if you can't see the difference between the raw images here and a click of a preset head over to my store for a free preset sample to download and apply for yourself there is a link in the description below as well as within the YouTube banner and while you're at it guys, don't forget to subscribe.